Have you ever felt the thrill of diving headfirst into uncharted waters? Ah! That's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm about to embark on a journey into the depths of a retro girl called Bosca Choil. Join me as I navigate the unknown, aiming to craft the most brutal metal riff imaginable. Hola, welcome back to the channel. I forgot to welcome you. I was just editing right there and I, I totally forgot. I'm sorry, I hope you're having an awesome day. And yeah, let's get back to it. Now we're gonna hit new song. <coughs> Let's get into it. I think the riff I wrote is in 140, but I think, uh, I hope we can change this later on. My MIDI keyboard doesn't work here. That's not good. That's not good. Oh my god, there's a drum kit. Okay, that's gonna be cool. So we're gonna add a new instrument. How do I get to the higher octaves? I cannot. Okay. Oh, I can. Great. Okay. So the riff is written in Alien. So we're gonna do the melody also in Alien. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use this. So starting from the E, go into the A, B, C sharp. D sharp. Okay, to the B. Oh. A. D sharp. E. Oof. B. E. Okay, we're doing something. We're doing something. <laughs> how do I make it like longer? No. Oh, how? What? I wanna make something past this. What the hell was that? Ah no, okay, ah no. So that's the main melody. I'm gonna have to do like an instrument. What about a cheap tune? Wait, but it's in the metal lead. So why is it also over here? What if I just erase it? Is it gonna be erased also in the melody? Don't tell me that. Are you kidding me? I have to do it again! I already hate this. Oh my god, I need to switch it over here. That's stupid. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I kinda get it. I hope. Over here I'm gonna change it. Whoa, <laughs> don't wanna do it. I'll do it in the higher octave. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll put this one down an octave. Okay, I won. Oh, that was a D. That's why it was dissonant. Okay, maybe this B, it's not gonna be S. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna add new, and that's gonna be the church bell. Okay, definitely not this. Um... <laughs> Maybe I'll just try changing this, like, this sound. I don't like it as much as I... As I wanna like it. <laughs> That's perfect. That's so perfect. 
I'm gonna make a goddamn phone ringtone out of it. Oh my god! Actually, should have left them over there, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Let's just choose an instrument that's gonna sound actually quite good with it. Why does this sound so awful? <laughs> What the hell has happened? What? Why does it begin with the two and the one's not in there? Huh? What the hell? This program is confusing. At least confusing. <laughs> Gonna do it like that so there's even more tension. Uh, the F sharp is a little bit too dissonant. Yeah, that's good, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's add the drum kit, actually, right now. Oh my god, this is gonna, this is gonna slap. Sion drum kit. Oh my god. Sion drum kit. Sion is an awesome band, or at least I know like one song from them, The Blade. Oh my god, go and listen to that. It's a collab of Jared Dines and the singer from Killswitch Engage. My god, love that song. Heavy bass drum. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Drum two, okay. Okay, over here the snare drum. I feel that this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be sick. Okay. Let's add more, and those are gonna be long held notes, maybe, maybe I'll do chords. And over here is something that adds brutally, brutally, just, just tension. I cannot find the rain. Oh, over here. Yeah, that's better. And I'm gonna add a new instrument and a slapped bass. So first up, we're gonna export this whole thing. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. What the hell? And I'm gonna export it with the drums and without the drums. We've got through this retro door. Finally, <laughs> after hours of struggling, not hours, an hour, after an hour of struggling with this door, we've got it because this door doesn't allow us to record guitar and do MIDI stuff. Or at least I didn't find out how to make it. We're gonna record the guitar, even the drums for it in Cubase because like we have to make heavy drums. Without heavy drums it wouldn't be heavy. Now more struggles awaiting because the riff I wrote isn't necessarily necessarily easy. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna see what we're gonna do. And what's interesting about this one, we have some polyrhythms going on. Yeah. Just take a listen. Th that was a horrible take, but I have to listen to it. One hour later. Okay, it's actually not gonna take as much time as I thought it would, cause the riff ain't that hard. This 
Guys, make sure to drink water. I say it in every video, but water is great for you. One hour later. I drank like half a liter because I was dehydrated after an hour of not drinking. Go and drink water. You remember how I said this riff is gonna be pretty easy? It ain't. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> Oh my god, that has to, that, that has to be the one. Oh my god, that's a solid take. That's a solid take, I take that. That's a solid take and I take that. Oh my god. The first thing we have to do is we have to hear this next to the goddamn thing we wrote in the retro though. <laughs> that's the first goddamn thing we have to do. What the hell did that thing do? Why is it off? Export. Export. Oh my god, yes, it fits in. It fits in. Beautiful. That's actually quite okay. One thing we're probably gonna do is we're gonna extend the chord changes that are happening over here. So these two, we're gonna do them in the boss cacharo. We're gonna return to it. So, beautiful. Beautiful. You should drink too, by the way. I know I've said it twice today. You should drink. It's the easiest thing you can do if you don't live in Africa and it's gonna bring great things to your life. Poor people in Africa. <laughs> Let's do the drums and bass. Why aren't you working? Let's record it! It's gonna be horrible but no one cares. Okay, that was terrible. Again. <laughs> Nobody's... Okay, focus, focus! Oh my god, that was... That was pretty close, I take that. I take that. Do you take that? I hope you take that. If you don't, make sure to tell me in the comment section if you don't take that. So, I can fix it in the... Upcoming videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Syncopated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's add the crash symbol. Do the whole thing. Okay, over here, I have to have the stops. I wanted to, like, stop on that. Okay, that's actually great. One thing we'll have to do is this. We just have to make the ending so... It extends the chords underneath that are played in the guitar, so it's even more accented. <laughs> One thing before that, we'll do the bass. Ouch! Oh my god! I smashed myself and the guitar. That's the worst thing I could have done. Where's my pick? 
Oh, I got it. Let's get the first one. Okay, okay, that's fast. Oh my god, <laughs> that run. Even though I've held this note, I think it's still gonna be alright. Let's do that again. You know I'm not doing this. One hour later. No, I tried. I'm sorry, guys. This is just <coughs> impossible. <laughs> At least for me. I don't even know if I like it that way. I think I'll just put in a like one note that will <laughs> that will be held. Okay, that's good. So, let's make this so it fits in for the chords. Alright, let's return to Bosca Choil. So first up, we'll make this change. Let's change this to the B, G sharp, A, not good. B, maybe D sharp, because it can be like, it can be a major 7th chord. Oh shoot, I'm not supposed to make it E major 7 but F sharp. C sharp, not an E. And in this A1, C sharp, F sharp, A, F sharp, that's great. Export that one. File, save that. C. Choil. Boska Kjol. Boska Kjol. Boska Kjol. Boska Kjol. That's just so weird to pronounce it that way. So over here is supposed to be the C sh F sharp thing, F sharp minor. And over here the E thing. And over here we have to fix that. So again, E, G sharp. Do you see that? Do you see that? That's goddamn dangerous. I need guitar strap locks. I need them immediately. If someone wants to sponsor me and give me like guitar strap locks, so this, so my beautiful guitar cannot fall, you can message me. <laughs> Let's record it. Oh my god! Oh my god, please, please tell me that it's the goddamn take. I'll just replace this last thing and it's gonna be great. Yeah, that was the one. Oh my god, <laughs> we've done it. We've recorded a riff. <laughs> I wanna insert the polyrhythm chugging into this intro. And we'll see how it how it'll turn out. <laughs> yep, 
Beautiful. Okay, so I'll do a little bit of EQing over here because we want to make an EQ automation on there, which is going to sound gnarly. So I'm going to put it on about 100 Hz and the most work is going to do the low pass filter, which is on the frequency of 6 and it's over here. Let's add it also over here. Okay, that's a little bit too much of the low end build up. So we'll just do this, this and this. Now let's hear the final goddamn result. Yes, you! Make sure to watch this video because you love entertaining content and that's what this video is exactly. So make sure to watch it and I'll see you then. Goodbye.